Okay, these are the rest of the 10 questions. Let's see, 81. Again, solve radical equations. So we see both sides. We have a radical form. So we just square both sides. Right, we square both sides, square, square root, cancel. We have 5x plus 4 equals to 2x plus 25. Subtract 3x on both sides. Subtract 4 on both sides. Subtract 2x on both sides, we get 3x. Subtract 24 on both sides, we get 21. So x equals to 7. So it's a red 7 here. Mm -hmm. seven. The answer is 7. Let's say 82. 82, we have a radical form, but this radical form was multiplied by 4. Then we have 16. So let's move this 16 to the other side first. 16 positive, so move to this side, becomes negative. Or you can think minus 16 on both sides. 24 minus 16, we get 8. Okay. Well, 4 radical square root of x minus 4 equals 8. Now we can divide both sides by 4. We divide these sides by 4, we become 1. Divide 8 by 4, we get 2. So we have radical x minus 4 square root of x minus 4 equals to 2 now. Square both sides. Simplify, so we simplify the equation first. Once we simplify it to the ideal form, we single out the radical radical term. We square both sides, we square both sides. Square square root cancel, we get the x minus four equals to two square, which is a four. We add four on both sides, so the answer is eight. This is eight. Let's see, it is three. So complex numbers, like remember complex numbers will have the form A plus BI, right? I, I equals to square I equals to square root of negative one. I square equals to negative one. So, so we know square root of one hundred is ten. So if you look at the ten I for this one, square root one, square root one negative one hundred can be split into square root of negative one times square root of 100. Square root of negative one is the i. Square root of 100 is 10, so 10 i. Square root of negative one is i, so we know it, this is, we have i. Then square root of 125. 125 is a five raised by three. So five cubed is 25. So 125 is 25 times five. Square root of 25 is five. So square root of 125 is a five radical five, I. So we're adding, so we have these complex numbers, we're adding two complex numbers. How do we add two complex numbers? We have A plus B form, B I form. So we add real part with real part, imaginary part with imaginary part. So 11 plus two, that's 13. Then we have minus A I, 
the last six i if i is confusing you could think about you could think like negative eight x plus six x right that would be negative two x same thing here negative two i so adding those two complex numbers get another complex number it's 13 minus two i you can also subtract two complex numbers we do the same we subtract real numbers with real numbers, complex numbers with complex numbers, you know, like like terms. So 11 minus 2 is 9. Negative ai minus 6i, negative a minus 6 is minus 14. That's minus 14i. So subtract those two with 9 minus 14i. Let's see, 86. Again, we're adding, we're adding two complex numbers. We add a real number with real number, negative four minus plus negative 20 is negative 24. Or negative nine i plus seven i, negative nine plus seven is negative two. So minus two i. Subtract. Same thing, subtract real with real, complex, uh, imaginary with imaginary. Negative four minus negative 20 becomes negative four plus 20. So that's a 16. Negative nine i minus seven i, negative nine minus seven, that's negative 16 i. Now we're multiplying two complex numbers. Multiplying with foil. We multiply these two, we multiply these two, we multiply these two, we multiply these two. Negative one times three, that's negative three. Then negative three i times three i, that's negative nine times i squared. i squared is negative one, so that becomes plus nine. Negative three i times three, that's negative nine i. Negative one times three i, that's negative three i. So simplify, negative, nine, negative three plus nine, that's a six. Negative nine i minus three i, that's negative 12 i. Right. So how do we answer this? So this is asking the real number a equals to six. The real number b, oh, hold on. Or a plus b i form, right? a plus b i form. The real number B is negative 12. So this is asking A, so that's six is an A. B, B is a number before I. B is a number before I, so that is negative 12. Similarly for 88, right? We multiply those two. We multiply those two, and we multiply these two, we get an i term. So the top one gives us two real numbers. Negative three times negative two, that's positive six. Negative three i times three i, that's negative nine i squared, right? But the i squared is negative one. i squared is negative one, so that changes to be positive nine. Six plus nine, the real part is 15. And then the imaginary part comes from this. Let me change my color. So negative three i, negative three i times negative two, negative three times negative two, that's positive six. So this is positive six i. Then negative three times three i, that's negative nine i. So this gives us. 
So 6i minus 9i is minus 3i. Okay, last two questions. Yes. Dividing. So how do we divide? Let's write in this case. So negative 74 plus 153i. Divide by negative 11 plus 12i. We use the difference of two squares. We multiply by its conjugate. Conjugate means, you see, this is a plus b form, right? We want to, so this is a plus bi form. We want to multiply by a minus bi form. In that case, when we multiply this one with this one, we get a squared plus b squared. a squared plus b squared. Because the difference of two squares, a plus b times a minus b, we get a squared minus b squared. But here we have i times i, we have i squared. i squared is negative one. So negative one turns negative b squared to be positive b squared. So here we want to multiply by negative 11 minus 12i. Now we do the same for the numerator. Negative 11 minus 12i. So the denominator gives us right away negative 11 squared, which is a positive 121, plus 12 squared, which is 144. Then the numerator, we should have three terms. So the numerator, we multiply, let me change my green color. We multiply this one with this one, real one with real one, the imaginary with the imaginary one, then these two, then these two. Okay. Negative 74 times negative 11. Negative times negative become positive. So 74, 74, that's, that's 824. So get 824 big numbers. You can use calculators, okay? Then 153i times negative 12i. Right? It seems to be positive times negative to be negative, but we have i squared here. We have i times i, i squared. i squared to the negative to be positive. So plus 153 times 12, 153 times 12. So you use a calculator to multiply. Okay, I'm going to write here just this. Then you write those, you combine those two numbers. You use calculator, you combine those two numbers. Then the i term, the imaginary part, comes from 153, let me change my color. 153, 153 times negative 11, so minus 153. Times i times eleven i. Let's write the i in the back, in the back of i. Okay, and let's multiply. Then we have this term: negative seventy four times twelve i. Right. Negative times negative become plus plus seventy four times twelve i. Let's see what do we get in the end. So 121, 121 plus, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so denominator will have 121 plus 144, which is 265. So the denominator 
is it 265. The numerator we have this too. So 153 times 12. That's a big number. We get 1836. So plus 824. Uh, that's 2,660. Okay, so that's the real part. The real part is 2,260. Oh, we see actually those two numbers can be simplified. So it can be divided by five, right? 2,660 divided by five, we get a 532. So let me write down here. 532 divided by 265 divided by five, which is 53. So that's a real part. Then the imaginary part we have negative 153. Well, let's calculate 153 times 11. This one, which is a negative, because negative times positive is a negative. So this one get negative 1683i. Then plus 74 times 12. 74 times 12. This one is positive. So which is 880 AI. The minus 1683 I combine those two terms. We get a negative 795. So this two becomes seven 795 I. Divided by the denominator. The denominator is the same, it's 200. So those two numbers add up to be 265. And then we see both numbers end with the five. So we can simplify by the common factor five. So we divide by five. 795 divided by five, that's 159. And 265 divided by five, that's 53. So we see B A, our A is this number, 553 divided by 53. Our B is negative 159 divided by 53. So this answer we should put over here, okay, in this box. So similar reason, similar reason for, so similar way to do the last question, 90. All right, let's do it. So the denominator, we have one, we have one plus 6i. Then we want to multiply by 1 minus 6i in the numerator and in the denominator. And right away, the denominator will get a 1 square plus 6 square. 1 square is 1, 6 square is 36. So the denominator is 37. 36 plus 137. Right. Then the numerator real part will have 1 times 5. That's 5. And negative 6i times i. That's negative 6i squared, which is positive 6. 5 plus 6, that's 11. So the real part is 11 over 37. The imaginary part comes from the smiling face, come from multiplying these two, negative 30i. This two is just i. Negative 30i plus i, that's a minus 29. 29 divided by the same denominator, 37. I. I. So the real part is 11 over 37. The imaginary part is negative 29 over 37. All right, so, so, so far I have, um, showed my way solving those 90 review questions for exams three. And hopefully I did not make serious mistakes. If I do, let me know, all right. And Monday, so tomorrow I'm gonna, tomorrow, let me see, is it tomorrow is a review day? Yes, supposed so, right? Let me double check. Um, 
tomorrow is six. Oh, we still have a uh, Thursday. So tomorrow I'm going to talk about new material. And the nine. Yeah, because our exam is on 13th on next Monday. So on Thursday, we're going to do a review. Okay, hopefully by then all of you have finished your questions. All right, that's it.